Hi, been a little while since I've done a video. Hello everybody, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh, just like to point out real quick, uh, thanks to my buddy Tony at Alameda Custom Holsters, I am now YouTube certified. So if you don't agree with everything that I say, you will be shamed into oblivion and disconnected from the platform. All right. Today, quick video. We're gonna be talking about the Smith & Sons Shoal a small EDC style fixed blade. Now, this is not a very comprehensive review. It's just going to be a quick overview. There's not a lot of information out there on this knife and I thought I'd put something up for anybody that's actually considering it. This knife is, let's see, I got my cheat sheet here, 6.7 inches overall. It has a two and three quarter inch cutting edge and the thickness is right at 1 16th inch. It's a very thin knife. This is not going to be, in my opinion, a great, uh, let's say, field knife or bushcraft knife, survival knife. It's very thin and very flexible. Now, I have not had a chance to do any game processing with this or clean any fish with it, unfortunately. So I'm not really going to speak to that other than to say I think this will do fantastic. Very thin little blade. You can really get in there in tight quarters, do a lot of nice carving and cutting with it because of thin so blade the thin so blade Ooh, let's have some more coffee and try that again the blade is so thin I think it'll work well for that it's very slicey very dicey cuts through cardboard packaging and things like that I've used it a little bit for like a table knife works great for that as you would expect the steel is AEBL stainless and I can say that I've had zero issues with any staining on the blade. All right, let's see. We have a weight on the knife, 1.5 ounces. The knife comes with a pretty substantial sheath. This weighs three ounces. In my opinion, if I have one one negative to say is that the, the sheath is just kind of a little too bulky for the lightweightness of the knife. I don't think they pair very well. I went ahead and made myself a Kydex sheath because it's kind of what I do. A little, uh, a little more matching to the, the knife size and weight. Uh, I did notice I was just on their website getting the, the specs and it looks like they're offering a Kydex sheath for this now. So that's good. It's a nice little lightweight uh, EDC knife or maybe a pack knife, a secondary knife you could throw in your pack for doing fine tasks and things like that. Now I have taken this out played with it in the field a little bit. I'll throw some footage in here. And for debarking, cutting thin pieces of wood for you know, whatever you're doing, light bushcrafting or whatever you want to call it, field crafting, it worked out okay. But it is very thin and very flexible. Fit and finish on this thing is very nice. It has these orange G10 handles. They're a medium texture. It's good. It's, it's a little thin but it's it's pretty comfortable uh everything is rounded over and, and polished nice there's no sharp points or hot spots or anything like that so i don't know i think i covered it all don't know what else to say it's a nice little knife definitely not a hard use knife i don't think not in my opinion and yeah i don't know how i feel about that it's a little thinner than i was expecting Let's get some stuff out here and we'll do, I'll do a little bit of demonstrations. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Struggling with the lighting here. At some point, maybe I will get that fixed. I'm going to compare this to my Spyderco Delica. And you can see that even compared to that, it is a very thin knife. And I'll compare it to one of my other favorite EDCs here. This is the CR 2.5, the SECR 2.5. Much, much thinner than that one. Hopefully you can see that there. What that means is this is very slicey. You just don't want to put a lot of force on it because, again, this thing is very flexy. All right, let's do a little cutting here. This is just some pool noodle. All right, 
So yeah, very slicey. All right, I found a little bit of paracord here. Let's see how this does. Oh yeah, like a hot knife through butter. Whoops, if I can hold on to the cord. All right, final thoughts on this. Very nice little knife, very well made, holds an edge really well. Uh, I haven't had any issues with staining so far, and I think it's a good knife. If this is what you're looking for, uh, I don't think you'll have any problems with this one. This is a little lighter duty than what I generally like to carry, but that's not really a knock on the knife. I think it fills its intended purpose uh, pretty well. Very slicey, compact, easy to carry. Lightweight, won't know it's there if you want to throw it in to your pack for like a secondary knife or just keep this one sharp for cleaning game and things like that. I think it'd make a great knife or fantastic for just carrying around on your belt. Alright, that's about all I've got. Uh, if you've got any questions again, go ahead and leave them in the comments section. And until next time, hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving and I will see you in the next video. Bye.